Hi everyone, Mocha Bunny here, and today I'm going to be doing like a short tutorial. Um, this is going to be really, really short. Not really a tutorial, but like a little walkthrough of what I'm doing, actually. So, I'm working on Cami White's um, braces from Street Fighter V. And I had to do a lot of trial and error because it took me a while to figure out how in the world am I going to get the braces to look a little bit like hers. And how am I... Ah, how am I... How will I be able to get the uh, get it to stay on my arm so what I did is uh I'm almost done with this one I just need to make the hexagon things on it but I need to go back to the craft store probably tomorrow and do it but what I did so far is I had to do like a uh, I kind of had to eyeball the pattern for the most part and I had to measure my arm out and I did the uh the little shape of the arm so at first, I thought about gluing these two together, but that wasn't going to cut it because I'm like, well, it's not guaranteed that it's going to actually fit because when I tried to slide my hand in the first time with this one, I couldn't get my hand through. So what did I end up doing is, at the time, I bought a zipper because I planned on making Kung Lao, but that plan fell through. So I figured, you know what, I'm going to put this to work. So. What I did was got a, I think it start, was like a 14 inch zipper and I ended up cutting it and then, um, well, first I put a new stopper in there. I had to use my sewing machine and sew across the zipper itself and I had to um, kind of also the zipper so it could fit. But this is what this one looks like. I'm actually about to spray paint this as soon as I'm done um, showing it. Um, yeah, I took the zipper. Usually, sometimes people use um, contact cement on the inside to ensure that the zipper is not going to come off. But I didn't have contact cement, so I ended up using hot glue on the inside. And actually, this is a really genius idea to use a zipper for your armor because it fits really snug. You don't have to worry about the Velcro um, scratching you. You don't really have to worry about the, uh, the elastic like being too tight or not, not tight enough and there's always like a little gap or something you can see but this actually closes it so I'll show you might be kind of hard because I don't want to I'm just zip it halfway and voila and it's still kind of loose because my arms are kind of small but I'm going to be wearing a uh, leotard with this so hopefully it'll kind of fill it out a little bit so it won't be moving around as much but I really do like this method I actually got this from a friend she actually she didn't give me the idea but her Shantae bracer arm bracer actually had a zipper inside it so whoever made it I took my hat off to you because that was really really smart uh, long story short it was about a little bit shorter than this and it had the zipper on the inside and it had like the bands stopping on the over here where the zipper is so yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and spray paint this and tomorrow or sometime later on in the week when I actually go to the store I'm hoping tomorrow I can go to the store and I can afford a zipper I'll show you guys how to install it oh. and uh, the first thing you want to do whenever you try to find a brace. So usually I would use like some type of stretch vinyl or stretchy uh, material if I really wanted that flawless flawless shiny look for the uh, my armor but since that looked like a lot of work and I wasn't sure how well that was going to work out I'm just going to spray paint it so what I did is I used two coats of Mod Podge and water mix and I will go over it with the Mod Podge by itself and I didn't do it this time because I didn't feel like <laughs> I'm really impatient and I really want to see how my work was going to come out so I did two Mod Podge mixes, two Mod Podge mixes and then you go over it with your, uh, <clears throat> your primer not primer I'm sorry not primer what? You go over it with the Plasti Dip, which is way over there. I do not feel like getting it, but Plasti Dip, then you go over it. The Plasti Dip ensures, 
I guess it's kind of like a sealing agent for the foam so that the paint won't seep through and it gives it that flexibility so the paint won't chip and stuff. Then you go over it with the primer that helps the paint to stick on, I guess. And then you go over it with spray paint. This is a really, really cheap spray paint. I, If you want to do like those really elaborate armor cosplays, I do not recommend this because I have a white version and that shit is legit clear. It looks like a top coat when it's not. But the black is actually, the black is decent because it's like a more of a matte tone. And since, I mean, I'm going to go over it with Mod Podge and uh, the Crystal Glaze sealant, it really wouldn't matter. But oh, I forgot to put the tissue back on. <clears throat> I was not smart enough. To cover this the first time and I don't want the paint to mess up my zipper when I start spraying so I'm really really hoping that this cosplay will actually turn out and be one of my better ones because I'm going back to my old ones that I previously made and actually upgrading it to make it look a lot better Alright, that's too high. There's my dog over there. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Crap. Okay. Shake it up. Then lightly. Oh shit. <laughs> Tissue fell off. Dust it. You don't want to like continuously spray like you know just hit the same spot and drown the thing in the paint because then you're gonna get the little runny effects on it I know I, I'm really impatient too and I really want to like see how well it's gonna turn out but patience is the main key when you're working with stuff like this because uh, without patience it's not gonna <laughs> look nice at all can't really see that side but and this paint dries really fast too I got this from Walmart for like 99 cents this is for people who don't have money I don't have money like that so I have to budget and buy the cheapest thing I could find at least for like simple projects like this but one um, paint brand I recommend is Krylon not Krylon Rust-Oleum Krylon is like the watered down version of Rust-Oleum uh, all right, so I'm gonna let that sit and dry. Then I'm gonna come over here and spray some plaster dip on this. If I can get my cameras and not fall. Yeah, my dog's down here. I usually have the fan on or I'll have him upstairs, which I'm probably going to let him come up there for a little bit so he won't breathe in all of this stuff. Oh yeah, main tip, you always want to wear some protective, uh, <laughs> some protective, something protective face. Just so you won't be breathing in all this toxic. Unlike me, I don't have anything to protect my face other than my, uh, shirt. I'm surprised I'm not dead yet, to be honest. Okay. So you want to shake it up? Yeah, since it's been so cold, it's been kind of, oh shit, it's coming out really, really blotchy and strange, but that really won't matter. I don't think I should have my camera this close to it. Um, let's move that, add a little bit further back. Yeah. I'm about off, about off, about, I am about out of this. Plastic dip stuff. Luckily, I don't really have to. Shit, yes, I do. And since I'm about to run out and I really need to save it for the uh, other arm things, I'm just gonna.
the entire thing doesn't have to be covered. And for obvious reasons, this is it's still in the black regardless. So what I do is gotta block the camera very quick. No, I get my stuff. Okay. So I plastic dip most of the parts that need to be plastic dip. Except for this little side piece right here. And unfortunately, I had to sacrifice the pool table slash tennis table for my little cosplay workstation because I don't have anywhere else upstairs to work at. It's 10 minutes. I'm going to reach across and just kind of spray this in this part. Alright. So what I'm going to do is turn the fan on so it can dry a lot quicker. You're probably going to see shit flying soon. Okay. Oh, my bad. Alright, so that's the uh, first part of my video. Like I said, um, actually this might be three parts because I have to still paint that all the way. Don't be like me and install the zipper. <laughs> first and then paint it because you're gonna risk getting paint all up in the zipper that's why I have to cover it with this because honestly this I was not supposed to like can you see it oh god <laughs> I was not really supposed to use this as like the actual thing I'm going to be wearing this is supposed to be a prototype but it came out so well I decided to use it so next thing I'm going to do is um Paint that when it's dry. Finish painting this, and I'm going to like kind of go in and highlight the little bolts, my little slash rhinestones, on the armor itself with like some metallic silver. So I'll do that in a couple of minutes when this is done drying, or when I'm done actually painting it. 